Jazz, how you doing? So back once again, it's uh, part 19 of the classic mini winter workshop. And uh, well, I was going to say winter's nearly over, but we had the second beast from the east this week. So not quite. Who knows what's to come? But what's for sure is the show season for me starts this weekend. So I'll be going along to uh, Brooklands for Brooklands mini show. Uh, a great show really really enjoyed brooklands because i'm into aviation as well i love all things flying i love aircraft i love planes especially like concord so uh bits for concord were built at brooklands so i really really enjoyed the brooklands show if you've never been before it's uh i think it's it's good value for money it's not cheap uh, I think it's about 15 quid a per person rather than per car but you get int entrance to the museum there's plenty to see there it's a good day out I think the only thing that can sometimes let it down is being at the end of March it's a bit of hit or miss with the weather so I've been on previous years where it's just been washed out completely with rain. Uh, it's either that or it's completely freezing cold. But I'm pleased to say, looking at the forecast for this weekend, I really hope it stays like it is. But it looks like it's going to be quite mild and sunny. So really looking forward to that. Uh, I'll be taking Piao, although you never know. I, I might change my minute, mind at the last minute and take Vinny. But... Uh, I should be there in Piao. Uh, if you see me, please come over and say hi. I'd love to uh, meet so you. So in this episode, not a huge amount of progress on Piao this week. Uh, I think I finally sorted out the issue with the idling too fast. So if you've got a an MPI Mini, I think it's worth watching this video because there's a couple of small tips in there which may help you out, may even boost the performance a little bit. And at the moment, this time of the year, it gets really busy actually. So uh, winter workshops are kind of coming to an end. However, I've got three projects on the go really. So we've got Piao, uh, that was the winter workshop this year. Vinny's back, so I haven't done anything to Vinny for six months. So I need to do some little bits to Vinny. And I'm helping my friend Mark on his project, Project Bolt, the race car. That's absolutely awesome. So if you haven't seen those videos, uh, go over there and look. We're on part two. Uh, there's probably three or four more episodes of that to come. And this week we're going to do a track day in the car at Brands Hatch. So really looking forward to that. That's really awesome to think that six months ago we were working on what was just a bucket of rust. Uh, and uh, come Wednesday, we're going to be racing it around the track at Br uh, Brands Hatch. So that's going to be fantastic. Just before we get into the video, I just want to say uh, once again, thanks to uh, all my subscribers. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe. Please hit like, give it a thumbs up leave some comments um i think traditionally looking around at other vloggers and what they do so generally when they get to 500 subscribers they do a bit of a giveaway or a bit of a competition i've kind of missed that a little bit um so i've got a plan here so i think what i'm going to do is go for engine sizes so mini engine sizes so I'm going to do my first giveaway at 850 subscribers. So I reckon that might be a couple of months down the line. Um, but I've got to tempt you with a bit of bait. So what, I'm going to, what am I going to give away at 850 subscribers? Um, my wife loves doing uh, paper art and crafting and things like that. And she's done some fantastic things with my minis recently i'll just get one now and i'll show you so she's she does this paper cutting paper craft uh and it's layered paper cuts and let me show you you'll see what i mean <coughs> so hopefully this comes out well on the uh on the video um it's what's called a layered paper cut so there's eight layers there uh, it's in a frame, it looks really great, it's unique, it's handmade, you can't buy this anywhere else. Um, so for 850 subscribers, what I think I'll do is 
<clears throat> we'll, do, we'll do a bit of a, um, a, a raffle there for the subscribers or people that leave comments. And if you win, uh, I'll get my wife to make one of these paper cuts for you uh, of your mini. But realise a lot of you watching this might be um, building a mini, might not be finished yet. So what I can do as well is... Uh, she can pretty much do anything, you just need a, a decent photo to go with. So uh, here's one of me. Uh, this is a bit of a <laughs> an early one of me actually when I got married to my wife. So uh, she can do people, animals, cars, whatever you like really. So uh, let me know. Okay guys, another little job I've got to do this week. Um, I think I might have mentioned it in a previous video. I thought the idle air control valve was sticking because the idle speed is quite high. Um, so I took the idle control out last week, gave it a clean, it looked pretty clean anyway. Was still having having the problems, spoke to a another mini guy and he said um, it might be the throttle cable. Now I discounted that because the throttle's nice and light and it doesn't feel like it's sticking at all. But I, while it was over revving actually, I managed to hook my foot underneath the pedal and pull it back and it did slow down. So. I think I might have just have uh, incorrectly adjusted the throttle cable, so we'll have a look at that now. Just looking at it, it looks like there's plenty of slack there. I don't, I don't think that's a problem, but I might back it off a little bit anyway. I think it probably is just adjusted up a tiny little bit more than it was originally because I can see some marks on there. So I think best thing to do, I'll back it off a little bit, take it for a drive and see how it goes. So to back it off, you just pull that off out the clip like that and then adjust it at this end because you don't want to back it off too much because you'll end up with a slack throttle then or you won't get full throttle so there is plenty of slack there I can't imagine that was sticking but who knows still feels all right inside the car but what I, want, what I want to do now is I'll just get my wife to put it on full throttle and I'll make sure the throttle choke inside of there or the throttle, the throttle flap is opening fully. So yeah, with full throttle in the car, that's still opening fully, um, sort of uh, 90 degrees on the throttle flap, so that's fine. So we give that a try. I might just, uh, I'll probably take the cable out, try and get some uh, lubricating oil down inside the cable, and leave it for a little bit to soak in. Uh, just a little tip, I'm not sure whether you're aware, I'm pretty sure it's probably common knowledge with minis nowadays, but these later MPI minis, uh, from sort of factory setting, they, they never gave uh, they never gave full throttle, or a lot of them didn't. Anyway, if you put them on full throttle and look at the throttle flap, it's uh, it's only open about 80 degrees, um, so it's not fully open vertical. Uh, and on the base of the throttle linkage here, there's a little stop plate. Um, 
and I think uh, I'm sure John Cooper Garage has done it. Th this one's certainly, certainly been filed down. It's been taken off. It's been filed down so that when you give full throttle, the throttle flap opens fully. So I'll see if I can just uh, bring the camera over to give you a close up of that. It's actually this. So this part here is the, the throttle stop. Um, that's looking inside the throttle body, so we can see it's closed at the moment. And then when you pull full throttle inside the car, as you can see, that goes round and it stops on that throttle stop. So the throttle stops there just to stop you pushing the cable too hard and snapping the cable. Um, and then when we look back down inside the throttle flap now, it's uh, fully open, 90 degrees. That's how it should be. But like I say, from factory, you might find that that throttle stop there uh, is needs filing down a little bit to give you full throttle. What I was thinking I might do is just hang this cable up here with a cable tie. Just uh, put a few drips of oil on there and that will that will run down the inner cable then. So if it is sticking inside that should stop that. I actually found some uh, push bike, chain lube, wet lube, ultra durable, long distance lubrication and protection. So I'm sure that'll do the job. enough I don't want to overdo it so what I'll do now is I'll look inside the car actually at that angle that's downhill all the way so if I, if I leave it a few hours I should actually see some oil coming out on the inside of the car as well I know it's uh, fully lubricated all the way along then could also work the cable backwards and forwards just to help it go along but it does it does travel down that cable quite nicely so I think I think that'll do the job Okay guys, so I only gave that about an hour in the end, but hopefully you'll be able to see when I push the throttle cable in. Um, might not show on the camera, but I can clearly see there's a nice oily cable there now. So that just shows me that oil I put in the top has got all the way to the bottom of the cable now. So I can refit that, try it, and uh, hopefully that'll be fine, but it doesn't seem to be sticking at all. So sure that'll be all right.